writing equations perpendicular to another line. In a previous lesson, we discovered that lines that are perpendicular to each other either have slopes that are negative reciprocals, or one line is vertical and the other line is horizontal. We've also spent some time writing the equations of lines and finding the y-intercepts. So let's move on to our first example. We're going to write the equation of the line that is perpendicular to y equals x plus 4, and it passes through the point negative 1, 5. The first thing we want to do is find the slope of the given line. So the slope of our given line is the coefficient of x, which is positive 1. Next, we need to find the slope of the line that will be perpendicular to that one. Since the slopes of lines that are perpendicular are negative reciprocals, the slope of the line that we need is negative 1. Next, find the y-intercept. And to do that, we're going to plug our numbers from the ordered pair, n for x and y, into the slope-intercept format. So y is 5. The slope that we're using is negative 1. Our x value is also negative 1. And we're looking for b. So we have 5 equals 1 plus b. Subtract 1 from both sides, and we get that 4 equals b. So the equation is y equals negative 1x plus 4. Example 2. Write the equation of the line perpendicular to y equals 4 fifths x minus 5 that passes through the point 4, 0. Once again, we need to find our given slope. The given slope is the coefficient of x, so that's 4 fifths. Next, find the perpendicular slope. The perpendicular slope will be the negative reciprocal of 4 fifths, so that will be negative 5 over 4. Next, find the y-intercept. So we plug into the slope-intercept formula. 4 is x, 0 is y. So we plug into the slope-intercept formula. x is 4, y is 0. Our slope is negative 5 over 4. So 0 equals negative 5 over 4 times 4. Write that as 4 over 1 plus b. The 4's cancel, so we have 0 equals negative 5 plus b. Add 5 to both sides, and b equals 5. So our equation is y equals negative 5 over 4x plus 5. Example 3. Write the equation of the line perpendicular to y equals negative 1 half x minus 1 that passes through the point negative 1, negative 3. The given slope is negative 1 half. The perpendicular slope is the negative reciprocal of negative 1 half.
So I flip negative one half and change the sign, and I get two over one, or just plain old two. Next, find the y-intercept. So we use our format, y equals mx plus b. And we plug in negative 1 for x, negative 3 for y. So negative 3 equals 2 times negative 1 plus b. Simplify on the right side. Negative 3 equals negative 2 plus b. Add 2 to both sides. And negative 1 equals b. So our equation y equals 2x minus 1. Example 4. Write the equation of the line perpendicular to y equals negative 4 fifths x minus 4 that passes through the point negative 4, negative 5. The given slope is negative 4 over 5. The perpendicular slope the negative reciprocal of negative 4 over 5 is positive 5 over 4. Now we need to find the y-intercept. And we use y equals mx plus b for that. The x value is negative 4, the y value is negative 5, and we plug in. So negative 5 equals 5 over 4 times negative 4 plus b. The 4's cancel, so we have negative 5 equals negative 5 plus b. Add 5 to both sides, and we get b equals 0. So our equation y equals 5 over 4x, and since it's plus 0, we don't need to bother about writing plus 0. If you wish to, you can. And there's our equation. So to recap, first find the slope of the given line. Second, use the negative reciprocal to find the slope of the perpendicular line. Third, Plug in the ordered pair for x and y into the slope-intercept equation together with the perpendicular slope and find the y-intercept. Then take that information and write the equation.